All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach you well, peace, and infinite salutations. To the elect that are scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity, teaching the names of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and prophesying against Mount Seir, which today is known as America, Mystery Babylon the Great. And uh, today's lesson is going to be inspired by a conversation I just had with this uh, Edomite. You know, I was doing the, the ride share thing and I picked this Edomite up. And, um, you know, this, this Edomite was, you know, from the country. You know, one of those uh, country boy Edomites. <clears throat> All right, but nonetheless, you know, uh, he, he went to talking and, you know, I was talking back and forth with him and he was talking about um you know he was complaining you know about how the world is today and you know the world's getting crazy you know at first he was just talking about you know his his hoa and you know how, how to, it's all bullshit and you know and then he started talking about um uh you know the immigrants the migrants that are flooding in he was telling me about something about over there in uh, colorado how they got like a hundred thousand migrants you know, caged up and you know, how shit's getting crazy, you know? And I was talking to him and I was like, yeah, you know, uh, I believe, you know, no matter what, which way this election goes, you know, come, come election year, uh, our election month or, or the time of the election, no matter which way it goes, you know, it's going to be ugly. And he was like, yeah, you know, I, I think it's going to be a civil war, you know? And, you know, um, that's the spirit that's out here heavily now in America is, you know, your average American, no matter what nation you come from, the average American is preparing for a civil war. All right. And he, he went to talking about how he's got six guns ready, you know, and how they're trying to take away the guns so that and he, he said this out of his own mouth. He said, yeah, I think they're trying to take away the guns. So they don't get any resistance, you know, uh, when they come down with martial law. And I, I said, that's exactly right. All right. And that's exactly what's, what's going on. So, I mean, we're witnessing the beginning stages of what's, what's coming is a civil war, man. All right. And the title of the lesson is, will America see a second civil war? Something along those lines. All right. And then um, this Edomite. You know, he started, you know, I, like I said, let me grab this scripture real quick. When the wicked bear for the people mourn. All right. And he is the wicked. <laughs> he was a, a damn Edomite. But even these Edomites are mourning because of the rulership. All right. The leadership, the, the, the policies, the unrighteous decrees and different laws going into play. It's all it's all a, a circus, man. It's a joke. The American society is is becoming more and more of a joke every single day from the 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 politics to the media you know everything is just it's not real it's fake okay it's phony and it's bullshit and these American people have had enough and he was the, the Edomite was talking about how yeah you know People, the reason why it's going to be a civil war is because people's just going to, you know, stop taking this shit, you know, and they're going to stand up for themselves. And that's exactly right. All right. We coming into that time, man. People just going to stand up for themselves, man. All right. So this is um, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. And right now people are mourning. You know, and I do the ride share. I done did damn near 3,000 rides. I've, I've talked to a lot of different people. And every time people get in the car, people are complaining about this life. They're complaining about uh, the politics, whatever side, whether Democrat or Republican. They're, they're complaining about the politics. They're complaining about, uh, you know, the news or uh, the, the inflation. People are always complaining because people are mourning. 
Why? Because the wicked bear for the Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is ruling the earth right now. All right? The wicked is ruling the earth right now. But we'll see when the righteous are in authority, people are going to rejoice, man. You're not going to have people uh, uh, complaining, you know, because when Israel is in power, starting with the, you know, Yahweh Shai himself and the elect, you know, Lord, as the hopeful elect, you know, whoever the elect is, they're going to run the world in righteousness. The, you know, the laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be established. Uh, and, uh, Another thing this Edomite was telling me, he said, you know, you want to hear some other crazy shit, man? He said, he said, I got this uh, cousin or something, a, a family member in the hospital in Detroit. And he was telling me, I was like, I was like, what happened? He was like, man, um, you know, some crazy shit. My cousin, you know, this, this woman, she uh, takes the train or whatever. And she said, um, or he said that she got stabbed, man, in the stomach. And they had to take like three feet of her intestines, you know, and she's in the hospital right now, you know, because she got stabbed in the stomach, man, you know, for, for nothing. This guy, some crazy guy was on the train, uh, you know, just rocking back and forth and out of nowhere, he gets up and just stabbed this woman, which ends up being this Edomite's cousin or something like that. All right. In the stomach, I think he, he stabbed like four people or something like that. And the trains over there in Detroit. So people are fucking losing it, yo. People are going crazy. There's crazy shit happening. And the Edomite goes to tell me. And this is all in like a span of like a 10 minute ride. So he's telling me this with all in 10 minutes. You know. And this is just one individual. So think about everybody and their, their different encounters and shit that they're going through, man. And then he goes to tell me that the last week, this Edomite, he's telling me he was in the, the store... And he dropped uh, forty dollars out of his, out of his uh, wallet or some shit, and then somebody pulled a gun on him and tried to rob him, <laughs> at gunpoint. And it turned out to be a fake gun. So the Edomite said that he beat the fuck out of the guy, and and then, and then the police came and he said that the police were saying that you know he went overboard, but here it is, you know this guy was trying to rob him. You know how how the fuck you go overboard when someone's trying to rob you? So it, it's just a bunch of bullshit. You know, in this society, man. All right. And guess what? Esau is starting to feel them curses, man. So let me go ahead and grab that. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So the curses that are upon us as Israelites, the Lord is going to put those same curses on our enemies, man. Starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And one of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 that the Israelites undergo is your eye shall be evil towards your brother. That's why you got a lot of black on black crime, so-called black on black crime, so-called Hispanic on Hispanic crime. Black, you know, the, the, the Israelite community, you know, um, I'll say the, the two thirds, you know, they're out here killing each other, you know, gang violence. And it's, it's a lot of hate towards the tribes in between the tribes man and that's a curse and that curse is going to be put on our enemies the edomites man all right so all the curses that we went through the lord is going to start putting them on our enemies and we're starting to see that right now as we speak the curses are being flipped esau is starting to feel that uh that vibration of them curses man all right, as this, and I, the more and more that America crashes and crumbles, when shit starts to get tighter, inflation increases, you know, and, and more unrighteous decrees are declared, these people are just gonna lose it. They're gonna start killing each other. You already got sedition at an all time high. People are already rising up against the governments. You see these different protests, and these protests are getting deadly. People are dying at these protests now. Okay, they're getting violent. The violent protests And soon it's just going to be an all out civil war People are just going to stand up They're going to take their guns And they're going to storm the capital And storm these government facilities And start killing each other man Alright and this is all Bible prophecy unfolding Yes there will be another civil war Coming to this place And if you can't see it you blind man And it could be this year after the elections 
no matter which way whoever wins whichever way it goes it's it could get bloody, man. All right? And we, we in the time of the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And after the Passover, a lot of crazy things tend to happen, man. So we're hoping and praying that this be the year we get out of here, man. All right? Something crazy can go down. Any any moment, any given moment, something crazy could pop off, man. So this is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is saying there's gonna be a division amongst these uh, modern Egyptians, which are the Americans. The modern day Egyptians, we're in spiritual Egypt today in America. The modern Egyptians are the Americans. So the Lord said that he was gonna set these people against one another. And that's what's taking place. Every day that goes on, there's more division being caused. Okay? And it's really the division is coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let's grab that real quick. The Lord is doing this. Luke 12 and 51. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He said, suppose you that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you no, but rather division. So the Lord said that he was going to bring division. And it's just going to increase and increase and increase to the point where these people start just blowing each other's brains out. Blood on the streets. You know, complete anarchy. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. The time we enter into is going to be a time of trouble coming upon the whole earth, man. And this is all in the Bible. Bible prophecy is unfolding. The things that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai spoke of and the prophets spoke of, now they're all coming to pass. All right? So the, the Lord isn't coming to give peace. He said, no, I'm, I'm coming to bring division. And we're starting to see the division as the days go on more and more division all right the political system is divided republican versus democrat and yahweh i said a kingdom divided cannot stand this place america is not going to stand for much longer man it's not going to be able to stand much longer because soon people are going to reach their breaking point to the point where they're just going to start killing each other there's going to be riots protests famines uh people are going to be storming each other's houses and pillaging uh, women going to be getting ravished Children going to be sent off to FEMA camps And it's going to be ugly man Alright now is not the time to be Out here living your best life man Now is the time to be getting serious Especially in the time of the Passover Isaiah 19 and 2 And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians And they shall fight everyone against his brother And everyone against his neighbor City against city and kingdom against kingdom So there's going to be a complete civil war here man all right. So we coming into that time, man. All right. Cities going to be against against each other. There's going to be a barricades. Martial law can be declared. You got this new movie coming out, Civil War. So Civil War is heavily in the air right now, man. And the average American, they, they know about it. They, they, they're talking about it amongst each other. They, they, they It's the same things that, you know, the prophets are speaking of. Guess what? Now, now the whole world knows. And they talk about it amongst themselves, you know. <clears throat> so, and that's another thing. The, the time of the ministry is about to be over soon. You're not going to see the videos and the truth going out. The Hebrew Israelites on the street corners. Soon it's just going to be complete anarchy in the streets, man. And we're not going to be going to camp in that time. Doing lessons. You know, bro, this, this is only for a short period of time. All right. But nonetheless, get ready for a civil war, man. Get ready for war to take place on this earth man amongst these Edomites all right and uh, amongst these American city citizens in general but Deuteronomy all right let me get second Ezra 6 all right let's go to the book of second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 24 it says at that same time shall friends fight one against another like enemies so friends if friends are going to be fighting against another like enemies how much more these strangers that don't know each other all right at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein the springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run right there's going to be no more running water and also you're not going to have this truth okay the the, the, the living water okay the knowledge Verse 25, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and shall see my salvation, 
and the end of your world. And we're witnessing the end of Esau's world, the end of this world that we live in today, all right? And it's gonna go out by bloodshed, fire, and destruction, and death, and plagues. That's what's coming to this place, man. All right, 2 Ezra 15, and verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So, whoa, and that's what we're prophesying. And the prophets that have been before us, you know, and the prophets of old, what do we, what, what do the prophets do? They prophesy of destruction and death, and that's what we're doing, all right? Bear with me one second, I'll okay. All right, the prophets that have been before us and the prophets of the old, they prophesied against many countries and kingdoms of war, of pestilence, of evil. All right, and that's what we're doing. And we warning people of this civil war that's coming, man. All right, there, there will be a civil war coming to this place. And when it happens, it's not gonna be ugly, man. All right, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, especially for the people that you of the world, you 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 two third niggas, you know, you don't you don't believe in the Bible, you don't want to live after the Bible, you through, you done. All right, you're gonna get caught up in this war, you're gonna get destroyed. If you don't have Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, if you don't have the Lord on your side, bro, you're through, you're done. All right, you're gonna die a, a horrific death. All right, old and young. The Lord is not a respect of persons, man. All right, so it says, um, verse 15, second Ezra 15 and verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. And the sword represents the, the modern day sword is the guns. And then this uh, Edomite that I was, you know, telling you about, he's like, he was going into the information how damn near 80 to 90% of Americans, they got guns. He wanted to go boasting about how he got six guns. All right, so that Edomite, when that shit gets real, that Edomite's going to be out here killing people, man. All right? <laughs> to keep it blunt, you know? It says, um, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. So people's house is going to get be being raided in. You know, when there's a famine of food, people just going to be raiding each other's houses and killing each other. And this is Bible prophecy, man. Unfolding. Now is the time to really be taking this thing to the next level and being serious because shit is about to get ugly in America, bro. All right. It says. Oh, for there shall be sedition among men. And that word sedition goes into like an uprising of the government and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Meaning people are just going to be doing whatever the hell they want to do. They're not going to regard the police officers or the judges. It's going to be killing each other. Yeah, that video uh, a couple months back, Jake, you know, jumping over the, 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 the podium or the stand to uh, tackle the, the judge. So we, we coming into some serious times, man. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So even next door neighbors, they're going to be killing each other. You know, and this guy, you've been next door neighbors with this guy for 20 years. You know, two Edomite neighbors, you know. But guess what? They're going to be end up, they're going to end up killing each other, man. It says, um, it says, for there shall be uh, Salakia. Yeah, sedition among men and invading one another. Uh, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's another thing that's coming to is a famine of food. You're not going to have no food. And when people, these are um, average Americans, when they shut down Burger King <laughs> and they shut down McDonald's, you don't got no more Taco Bell and KFC and Chick-fil-A. These people are going to lose it, bro. And then you, the, the big stores are all shut down. People are going to resort to just killing each other, man. All right? And this is why we need Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We warning people of the time to come. We telling you that America is crumbling. We telling you there's going to be a civil war. We're telling you that there's going to be blood in the streets. There's going to be people starving to death. But people don't want to listen. And that's all right. Just like they didn't listen to Noah when, they, when Noah prophesied of a flood. So it's all good. But see, we want to be on the right side of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai when it all 
takes place. All right. So, yeah, you know, just a, a, a quick lesson. Will there be a civil war in America? Absolutely. OK, get ready. And it could be this year. All right. And the only way you can get prepared is spiritually, man. And if, if you're not an Israelite, you're through. You're going to be caught up in this time. You're going to be destroyed. Or if, if you are an Israelite and you're not taking this truth seriously, you're going to be destroyed. OK, we got to constantly be repenting, you know, uh, uh, purging out the leaven, you know, becoming a new creature in Yahweh Bashmi Awashah so the Lord can have mercy upon us in this time, man. It's going to be an ugly, ugly time. All right. So with that, call Hello Yahweh Bashmi Awashah, Bahashim Rakakodash. Until next time, I say Shalom.